in the summer months it gets uh, quite humid here so I've been using these uh, these type of bags to store my uh, my uh, filament rolls uh, between prints because some filaments uh, will absorb water readily so in, in the winter it's not that important because humidity here uh, in my uh, my uh, basement is about 20 percent but in the summer it can go up to 60 percent so I prefer to keep uh, my rolls as dry as possible especially some of them like uh, like for example this one which is uh, uh, PGHF which is a bit sensitive to to water it has to be dried before use and then it has to be kept fairly dry so this is one I'm going to uh, put under vacuum right now so let me explain how these valves work these little valves that you have on these bags I don't know if you can see let me get closer to the camera there is little u-shaped indentations and there's a round space in the middle so I think you see five u-shapes u-shaped indentations here and then a hole in the middle and if you look inside the bag what you can see is that let me get closer is that right in the middle there's a hole so there's a hole in the bag uh, and then the disc is kind of this vinyl disc here this vinyl disc here that has little u shape uh that well, we're calling them calling them valves and when you apply a vacuum this is the vacuum pump that I'm using it's electrical why well, it's USB powered but there are some that are manual okay so it has a soft silicone uh, gasket here and it and it sucks air basically okay so when there's enough negative air pressure the little u-shape uh, valves open up and eventually the hole that's on the other side or the inside of the bag basically uh, starts uh, delivering air to the pump okay so it works from the inside through that big hole and then the little u-shaped valves that are here flip open and allow air to escape from the bag the problem with this i'll put the roll of, uh, of filament in the bag the problem with this give me a few seconds here a few things first you have, to, you have to seal that bag so there is a double kind of ziplock uh, seal that's there you can do it by hand but usually what I what I do is I use the little clip that came with my kit and I double see to make sure that there's no air otherwise, otherwise there's no point doing it so now the bag is sealed and if I put the, the the vacuum pump on the hole like this okay? and I started it well nothing happened it will take a while I have to put pressure but the more pressure I put with my fingers I kind of seal the whole thing like because uh, basically for this to work there has to be some space between the hole in the middle and the plastic on the other side otherwise air cannot escape so you have to play with it fudge with it or put it on a table but when it when the roll is in it's kind of difficult to do so what I've done is that I've designed a little uh, kind of disc with holes in it and there's holes on the sides I'll show you up close what it looks like so you can see there's holes there's a series of holes and there's little channels there so that the air even if you put plenty of pressure the air can still channel through so the, the holes that are on this surface are connected to the holes that are on the periphery like around the the shape of the disc so and the, the holes go all the way through okay so everything's connected all the holes are connected to at least one holes on the uh, one hole on the side so all I have to do is place this side up inside the back so this side with the channel 
is going to allow air to uh, escape the bag through the pump. And you'll see what happens when the valve actually opens. You'll hear a pop when the valve opens. And then there'll be 100% efficiency of that little tiny pump. Give me a sec. We open the bag, put the valve in, put the valve in here. Okay, let me just reseal the bag. I'm doing it with the clip again. So I'm using the little clip Something like this. So the bag is sealed, the, the valve is in there somewhere. <laughs> Let me get it in place. And then all I have to do is kind of line up. Doesn't have to be precise. I've made the design uh, big enough that there's there's plenty of room around the center of the valve. I put the little uh, vacuum thing on, and then I'll put no pressure at first. But you'll see as I add pressure on the on the valve itself, as I add pressure, you hear a pop when the hole opens and you'll see the bags start to collapse. So I'm putting a bit of pressure and then more pressure. And then you heard that pop, that's when the valve opens. And now the bag is NPA. It takes a few seconds. You don't have to do a total vacuum because, uh, well, I didn't in this case, it's just an example. But usually I put uh, silicon gel beads in there and they take care of any humidity that's left. And if you vacuum too much, it actually can damage the bag because of sharp bends. Well, that's it. Now, all I have to do is press with my thumb to make sure the holes and the little U-valves are closed. And that's it. My bag is sealed. This bag will stay dry, sealed for a long time. And because usually I add silicone bees in there, it'll stay super dry pretty much forever. There's never going to be any enough volume of air, even if the uh, the valves or the plastic lets in a bit of air very slowly, if there's a leak, basically, there'll never be enough humidity and air coming in that the, uh, the silicon beads can't deal with. I hope this helps. The, uh, the link to the design will be in the comments. It's also uh, on Thingiverse. It's available in Thingiverse. That's where I put my, my designs for free. So go ahead and feel free to uh, design and print that uh, little valve.